Hi everyone, I hope you guys have been doing well. I just wanted to make this video to show you how you can write values from different Excel sheets into text files in a certain format using UiPath. A little bit of background why I'm trying to automate this. I was recently asked by my team member to build multiple dashboards for different channels, for different teams. And within a dashboard, there's a KPI reference line that needs to be dynamic based on different teams. This is an example how a dashboard of email engagement looks like. There's a reference line on the chart and also there's a team filter on top. And based on the value selected on the team filter, this reference line will need to be dynamic and changing. To build dynamic reference line, I'll need to create calculator fields using SQL case statement. So for example, case team one KPI equals to 20, team two equals to 21, and so on. And we have 60 different teams, so it means I have to write this line until team 60. This is just one channel. And imagine I have five different channels, so I have to repeat this 300 times. So that's 300 lines and that I need to write and I couldn't be bothered. So this is why um, the automation comes in to take out this manual task and free up our time to do more meaningful stuff than to write 300 lines. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go to UiPath Studio and then let's create a new process. I'll name this right uh, right Excel to text file then create Um, it's taking a bit of time today. Maybe I have overloaded my computer. Okay. Let's create a sequence. Um, I'll name this right Excel to text. First thing, let's find the Excel application scope. Let's look at the Excel example. So this will be an example that I'm gonna write in the text. So I'll, I'm gonna turn this into SQL case statement. So as you can see, there are two different tabs, Facebook and Instagram. So I want to save this to tabs into separate text file and then each row into the SQL case statement. So it will be case team one, then 21.2. Team two, when team two, then 21.2 and so on and so forth. Um, and then the other text file it will have when Team one, 
when when t case team when team team one then eleven point two. So let's go back to the UI path. Hold on just one second. Let me move this to the workflow that we just we just created. Oops. Let me close this first. Don't save. I'll try again. So I've just copied to to the folder we've just created. Um and then next thing locate this excel file so the next thing is uh, i want to make sure i get all the worksheets from this excel file so as you can see we have two tabs two worksheets i want to make sure we get each of them and then read all the values from each of them so the next step is get work workbook sheets and then in the output i'll name this variable i'll store this this sheet into a list of strings and then i'll name i'll name this variable as sheets And you can see this variable is automatically saved into the list of strings, which is the variable type we want. So once we have all the sheets in the list, we want to loop them. So I want to loop for each. For each sheet in the list of sheets and then once i have looped each of them i want to read range i want to read all the values within the sheet so i'll okay what's the error Okay, we have to p change this into string. So you can see the argument is object. We need to change it to string. So the error is gone. So we we'll read all the values within each sheet. Once we have read the values, um, the next thing is to look through each row within the excel worksheet and then write them into sql case statement let's go back to the ui path studio before we move on to the next step let's make sure we have output the values from the workbook sheet that we've read into a data table let's create a new variable called dt main control k so we've created a variable type data table and then the next thing is to look through each row within the worksheet so we we'll need for each row within data table so for each row in dt main change this to and then we we'll write them into the text file so instead of using write we'll use append because we want to make sure we append 
every line within the worksheet. So we have when row of column team remember to change them to string dot to string when team one then row column KPI so this will give you oops sorry forgotten myself to string so you see if you if you do not change it to string they give you it will give you an error file name is awesome okay we haven't even put our file name yet um and I wanted to output the workbook sheet name into the text file name. So I'll use sheet dot So this will give me text file name using the name of the worksheet, which is Facebook and Instagram. So that is all. Let's just run the workflow and see if we get the output we want. Okay. We have received two different outputs, Facebook and Instagram, which is the, the name of the workbook sheet. So that is awesome. Let's go to the first one. Yes, I've output each row on the Facebook worksheet into the SQL case statement that I want. So yeah, imagine it's just in few seconds, um, I get all the outputs that I need. And this is just an example because I'll, I do have um, 60 teams instead of 20. But yes, five channels, um, 60 teams 300 lines can be done in a few seconds um which will save me lots of time and um yeah i'm very happy about automating this um i hope i hope this gives you an idea how you can automate a tedious task like this every day at work and I hope you find this video useful. Please like or subscribe to the channel to receive notification for new videos. Please leave a comment or ask me questions in the comment section and I'll respond. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Ciao.